got here today too. I had to get away from home. I'd been having a bad week. A couple of days ago, yet another girl broke up with me. <laughs> Thank you for your mock sympathy. She gave me a lame excuse too. You know what she said? She said, John, I think we should start seeing other people. Which y'all know as well as I do, when somebody says we should start seeing other people, that's their way of saying, I've been doing it for about a year now. <laughs> Why don't you give it a shot, too, see how it works out. Women always give me lame excuses when they break up with me. The excuse I hear the most, and the one I hate the most, too, is when they say, I only like you as a... <laughs> see, listen to the women saying it. Did y'all hear that? Jumping in like y'all said it a thousand times. Friend, 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 friend. I hate that. We can still be friends, can't we? No. <clears throat> Basically what that means is, you're never going to get me in bed, but I might need somebody to help me move sometime. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of women clapping like, yeah, I've done that, uh-huh. Always keep a guy in your address book that's got a pickup truck. That's what I was like. I don't have any luck with women. My friends feel sorry for me, too, y'all. They always try to set me up on blind dates so I'll meet somebody. I hate blind dates. They always say the same thing about the girls they want me to take out, too. They say, I think y'all would have a lot in common. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. When they say y'all would have a lot in common to me, that's just a polite way of saying, she's ugly too. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all yeah, laughed at just a little bit too hard, all right? I don't think I'm quite that ugly. <clears throat> No, <laughs> maybe I am. I've been putting on weight, I know that. Have y'all been putting on weight this cruise? You know you have. Oh, man. I'm out here doing this about every week. I've been putting on a bunch of weight. There's too much food on this boat. All these buffets. I mean, you pass a buffet on the way to the buffet. It's wonderful. And that pizza buffet on the Lido deck, have y'all been enjoying that? Isn't it awesome? Oh, wow, I love it. And open 24 hours a day, too. How cool is that? 24-hour-a-day pizza. I mean, they ain't nothing like waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning because you got to go to the bathroom and thinking, well, shoot, I'm going to go get me a slice while I'm at it. <clears throat> I've been trying to lose weight. Nothing's been working. I went out a couple weeks ago to buy one of those rowing machines. Have y'all seen those things? I went to 12 different stores before I found out they don't make rolling machines that come with outboard motors on them. <laughs> but, you know, I figured, what the heck, I've come this far. I'll go ahead and buy one anyway, so I did. The guy at the store said, just use it like you use an ordinary rowboat. So I rode for about five minutes, pulled out a 12-pack of beer, then sat there the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm too lazy to exercise, y'all. That's my problem. I'm like the laziest person in the world. That's why I became a comedian. This is a cool job to have if you're lazy. It is because I ain't got to work but like half an hour, maybe an hour a day on a real, real busy day. And I sleep the rest of the day, y'all. Oh, I do. I sleep all day, gum day. I sleep so much, cats look at me and go, dang. <clears throat> Are you going to lay there all day? <laughs> Well, give me the remote. <laughs> I heard something that kind of scared me not too long ago in a health magazine, y'all. It said for every half an hour you sleep in the day, that's like sleeping two hours at night. Did y'all know this? I did a little calculate and realized I'm sleeping 47 hours a day. <laughs> it scared me. <clears throat> Now, I do like this job, even if I wasn't lazy and putting on weight, it'd be a cool job. It's better than the last job I had, I can tell you all that. Oh, Lord, y'all. Last job I had, right when I was starting comedy, I was living out in Los Angeles, and I worked as a bank teller for a little while. Has anybody ever been a bank teller? Bob applause or a few of you. Did you like it? No, because people are rude to tellers, aren't they? I'm not kidding. Every single day, at least one person would come up to my window that didn't have their ID with them, so I wouldn't be able to cash their check. And they would always get mad and say the same thing to me. You know, I've got a good mind to take my money right out of this bank. <laughs> I'd bring them up on the computer and go, oh, well, we're really going to miss your $9.43. <laughs> Oh, 
oh my goodness, they might have to lay some people off. <laughs> now you gonna need all that in cash? <laughs> all right, I'll give it to you, but you gotta promise me you'll let me know what bank you switch all that money to, because I wanna buy some stock in them. <laughs> We had this policy at the bank I was working for, for the customers, said if you stand in line for five minutes, you get $5. You get $5 for five minutes. I started thinking about it. I was making $7 an hour. I quit my job and became a full-time customer. We had a lot of stupid policies at that bank. Another policy we had, y'all get this, said if you want to find out your balance, it'd cost you $4. Yeah, can you believe that? If people were still stupid enough to ask me their balance all the time, they'd be like, um, yeah, can you tell me my balance real quick? Well, before you walked in here a few seconds ago, it was $300. Now it's $296. And they would try to argue with me. They'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on a second, hang on, hang on. My balance is what? <laughs> Well, now it's 292. <laughs> you keep asking questions, you're going to be over drones, huh? <laughs> Think if I was you, I'd shut up while I still had a few bucks. <laughs> Los Angeles is a bad place to be a teller, too, y'all. It's dangerous out there. We got robbed a lot. We got robbed like every single day. Sometimes I want us to get robbed, though, because when you're a teller, you have to stand on your feet all day long, and that gets kind of old. But when you get robbed, the first thing the guy says is, all right, everybody lay down on the ground. I'd be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get robbed today. I am so tired. What? Oh, yeah, that's my drawer right there. Go ahead and take what you want. Just don't set off the alarm. I'm trying to sleep.